This is a lab session in which I am going to discuss how to implement multitask in a playbook. So to understand this, I have taken a simple example that is installation of a package. For the installation of a package, multiple steps are required. So let's understand this with this diagram. I have an Ansible server and two clients I have that is client 1 and client 2 and I want to perform package installation that is Apache and FTP package. So two package I want to install on my client 1 and client 2 from the Ansible server via playbook. But I have few requirements. Very first step when my playbook is running it should mount the OS media drive that is on my client machine that is client 1 and client 2 and then it should create the local repository and then install the required package for this once the package is installed it should enable the service and the fifth is start the service so here you can see multiple tasks are required for the complete installation of a package so let me create a single playbook and in that single playbook I'm going to define all those tasks so this is my Ansible server and uh, first of all let me show you what all the servers I have in a prod group so two client machine that is client 1 and client 2 <clears throat> so these are my machines now the next is here you can see that I have logged into the system as a normal user I'm in this location okay I'm going to create a playbook you can give any name I have just given multitask dot yml insert and also let me you know take a session of my client one as well okay now you can see that as of now on my client one OS media is not mounted my first step where the you know Ansible it should mount the OS media so let's start it always start with three dashes host prod group I have created I want it should become <clears throat> become should be true so that's why I've used become is equal to true become and uh, the user yes I want it should become a root user before performing the task okay so my first task is mount the OS media drive so how we can you know mount the OS media drive for that I am going to use the simple you know module that is command module and uh, I'm going to fire this one mount slash dev sr0 we all know that sr0 this device name is for the your media that is for the CD media CD drive and I want it should mount in slash mnt so this is my first step second step is create the local repository so I have already you know created a file in my Ansible server this is my Ansible server and this is the repository so I'm just trying to create the local repository so I want that this file the server.repo it should copy to my client machine that is client 1 and client 2 in this location that is em.repos.d in this location I want it should be created okay so I'm in this location and we have this file here okay let me again open my this playbook my second task is copy the local repo file and uh, for that I'm going to use copy module okay and I have to specify the source source is on the same location and uh, same server and that is in this 
slash home as home ansible and here we have this file that is server dot repo right let me show you now you can see this is the location under which we have this file server dot repo and destination where you want to copy I want it should copy into this ADC em dot repos dot D okay so this is my second task let me log into my this machine I'm already in this client one and let me go into this em dot repos here you can see that server dot repo is not there so I want that it should be you know copied if I'll simplify em repo list no repositories available right if I'll try to install any package as of now on my client machine, it won't allow you. So we need to first enable the repositories or we can say that we have to, you know, uh, attach the client machine to the local repository or any, you know, EM server you have in your environment. It could be the satellite server as well. Now, two tasks has been done now. Third is install the package. Okay. So to install the package, let me put this one install and uh, install the VSFTPD package for that I'm going to use the YUM module right and uh, name I have to specify the name of my package vs ftpd and uh, state it should be latest okay and uh, I want it should install one more package that is install sttpd em name latest okay so three tasks you can see I have mentioned here okay once my you know this playbook is running first it will try to you know mount the OS media and then it will create the local repository and then install the package I want it should enable the service as well so to enable the service I'm going to use name and uh, start and enable the service right for that I'm going to use service and uh, it is asking the name of your service vs ftpd and I want state should be started and I want uh, enabled yeah, I want it should be enabled as well so here you have to mention true so this is one thing I want the same for other service as well start the start and enable service module I have used here enter name is HTTPD state I want should be started unable is true so that's all now let me come out here and let me you know cat this okay so here you can see this playbook first it will try to you know mount the 
OS media drive with this command then it will copy the local repo this one so this repo file is here in my Ansible server and it is going to copy to both of my client and in this location and then it will install the you know package VSFTP and VSFTPD and STTPD and uh, okay some mistake here I can see that okay name is state fantastic now uh, let me you know run this playbook ansible playbook multi uh, capital K so once it will you know become a root user it should ask for the pseudo password redhead I'm getting some syntax error that is on line number 19 So this is we have some er error here so let me come out from here again I'm going to put this one I've just removed the, those lines and recreated it. Now it is running. It is gathering the servers, both client one and client two. It has mounted the CD OS media drive. Copy the local repo file. Now it is trying to install the VSFTP package on both of my client, client one and client two. It has installed the Apache package as well. It start and enable the service as well. So six changes has been done so let me log into my client one and uh, let me check here you can see that it has copied the repo file okay so this is the location where we are and df-h you can see that it has mounted the you know OSCD drive as well uh, two tasks has been done let me check the package rpm-qa grep-i here you can see the Apache package has been installed. So both the package has been installed. Let me check the service as well. System CTL status. VS FTPD. Service is running. Disable as well. Right. So whatever we have mentioned in the playbook, what all the tasks, multiple tasks we have mentioned, all has performed. So friend, that's all for this lecture. In the next lecture, I'm going to tell a few more important points about the multitask. So that's all. We'll see you in the next lecture.